Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another doll unboxing. Today we have the MGA equivalent of the Barbie color reveal, and that is the Dream Ella Color Change Surprise dolls. So these are the Color Change Surprise fairies. Now, I don't think it's so much a surprise because I think we're getting the dolls that are on the front of the boxes. I picked these up from Toys R Us at Macy's and they cost me about $6 each. I think their normal price is like 13 or something like that. It's not quite as pricey as the Barbie color reveals, but they're kind of fun. I mainly want them for the wings and the wigs because these dolls come with nine surprises, one of them being their wigs down here. And they have wings, which is great. And we've got an 11 and a half fashion doll. So I think we have Yasmin and Arya, and we didn't have Dream Ella at mine, which is this one. But they're very cool. Here is the UPC for the first one. And I am going to open her up. So this should be our Yasmin. Nice and easy to open. And we've got our doll right here. She comes in nice gold paint. Now she's stuck a little bit to her bag, but that's okay. As we can see, she is completely covered. She does have a hard plastic head. It's got a little bit of lateral articulation, but let's put her in the water that I have over here and look at her accessories while her paint dissolves. So I did just try to uh, pop her in there. It's very pretty gold swirls. She doesn't sink as much as the Barbies do like she is bobbing up and down in the water right now, but I think she's actually uh, already clean, which is better than Barbie. I'm trying to let her drain because I'm pretty sure her torso is filled with water right now. and maybe possibly even her legs, but this is what she looks like. And you know, I kind of like this more than I like the Barbie color reveal. The paint came off really easily. The doll has a little bit more articulation because these legs come out like that. The arms have the same articulation that we've come to expect from Barbie, but the legs are a nice surprise. So there she is right there. I'm gonna set her on top of the towel while we look at her stuff. So this is the first surprise, which is her cute little skirt. So this is a pretty nice little like fairy style skirt. As you can see, it's a nice circle skirt, uh, no lining. It does have a little underwear strap to keep it in place from riding up too much. Um, it doesn't open all the way, which is good. It'll keep it from uh, having too much there. I'm gonna let her drain a little bit more before we put that on her though. Uh, and then we've got this bag. Let's see what's in here. So we've got her wig in this bag. As we can see, pretty decent quality, 
pretty well rooted. It's chain stitched onto a cap, which is good. And that cap just goes right on her head, just like that. And then we just kind of hide those edges a little bit. But even without much work, that looks pretty good. Our next one, I'm thinking this is the wings. Okay, yes. So this is the wings. As we can see, there is like a little spot that it clips into. But you know, this would be really easy to throw just a little rubber band around. But it actually clips on to this. So it's a little like belt that snaps on just like that, very easily. I like those wings, that's actually really cute. Um, of course, we've got a little sponge. It wouldn't be a color reveal toy without including a sponge. Oh, we've got a lot of sparkle here on these shoes. There's a lot of glitter, but these are pretty cute shoes, honestly. Aside from the glitter, the only thing that sucks about these is I won't be able to really use them on any other dolls, most likely, because these are kind of big, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll find a use for them. And then she's got a little, like, sunburst tiara, which goes right over the top of that. So, pretty cute, honestly. For, like, a $7 doll, and then we've got the instructions and things. I think you're supposed to dip the doll into this in the water, but I like using the color reveal tubes. It's a little bit neater. Let's put her little skirt on her. I think she's drained enough. Ba -ba. Try to put this on correctly for her. off to get her on there correctly. Mm -mm. Just like this. And she looks pretty good. Like honestly, like this is a better quality piece of clothing that we get. And then the, we get the wig. Barbie Color Reveal hasn't done wigs for a while, but they did do it at one point. Her face is cute. It's not at the same scale as Barbie. It's slightly larger, just a little bit more bobble-headed because it is MGA. But she's really cute, I think, for like a $6 doll that I got. So let's see if the purple one looks as well, looks as cute. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't get the, uh, the one with the moon crown now. Okay. Here is the UPC before I forget for our purple girl. Okay. So we've got our doll first. Oh, and she is done in blue paint, but she's got the same mold it looks like. So we're going to see what gold and blue make. Ooh. Look at that shimmer, that mica powder in there. Very cute. So I'm gonna let her dissolve just a little bit more while we look at some of her outfit pieces. So here we go, we got our first piece right here, which is her wig. She's got a nice vibrant purple. Very cute. This one actually has some bangs. Look at that, that's kind of cute. You don't really see those on a doll, very, on a doll wig very often. That's the extra effort. Nice curl. Let's 
Mm -mm. And then our skirt is very pretty. Look at that. Like, it's not embroidery, but it's really pretty, this fabric. And then it actually has an underskirt that's like galactic. Like, this is very pretty. I'm not sure if I could style this aside from like, with like a black, like, uh, tube dress or something like that, but it's really cute. And this is gonna be her wings, I think. Okay, so she's got pink wings that are slightly different, I think. Very cute. Again, with the little ring that she pops onto so she can wear it around her waist. Plus some very cute shoes. Same shoes, but in purple glitter this time. Not bad. And then, I think this is our sponge. Yep, purple heart this time. And our last one is gonna be her crown which is pink with some stars. Very cute. And these are definitely fairies. Like, that's what they look like. There's nothing about these that's like hard to kind of grasp. Like these are very much like a, um, an entry level toy. Like with Dreamtopia, there's a little bit of that, like, um, lore that's built up over the years from, like, the movies and the series. But she's really cute. Look at that glitter on her eyes. And I think they're slightly different face molds, but not entirely sure. I think they're the same, actually but she's really cute and then we just pop her hair on just like that and we give, give her a crown that goes on just like that very cute Now, she's got a little bit more water stuck in her, which is fine. Um, but she's really cute. So let's see what her skirt will look like on her. Ooh, maybe not. Oh yeah, this one's still draining. All right, I'm gonna let her drain instead of putting her skirt on because we saw how the other skirt fit. I'm just gonna show you how it would look on her like that with the top. Very cute. And then her wings go on just like that. Yep. And she's got her shoes also. So that is the Dream Ella Fairy Color Surprise, which I think is Wunderbar. I'm actually gonna put them both in this little bucket so they can finish draining together just like that. And my question I want to know is are their heads big enough that I could use them for a Ken doll? Let's see. So, pretty close, honestly. Like, I could definitely work with that. So, interesting options. That's kind of the reason I wanted them. Um, so, 
yeah, so they do fit on a Ken doll. And of course, most of their stuff is going to be completely compatible with Barbie because they're a 12 inch doll. Um, let's see about their shoes. Maybe I can get the shoes to work for Ken. Let's see, because these are a bit big footed. Nope. Just barely too small for Ken. Um, and let's see about a tall Barbie then. Or like a curvy. See if we could get them um, to wear there at that point. Let's see. But I think these are going to be too big for a curvy also. Yeah. A little too big still. Maybe on a rainbow high kind of tightly. I don't think I have any rainbow highs really close to me at the moment. I might. No. Oh well. So they might only work on a on a Dream Ella doll, but that's okay. I can still use the wings. I can still use the tiaras. So it's an interesting little set to have. Um, I might try to look for the green one, just now that I know that the wigs work. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.